okay so in this video we will learn how to deploy a spring boot application uh, using azure devops and uh, by which we can create the simple ci cd pipeline so we'll follow uh, some of the steps like we have a seven steps the first step would be uh, the create azure repo then the, the second step would be the create spring boot application then uh, commit the code into azure repo the fourth one is create a build pipeline, fifth one is create app service, sixth one is create release pipeline, seventh is a create release. So let's start with the first create Azure repo. So uh, for that you just need to uh, log in into the dev.azure repo into your and create one organization. I just simply created with my name and go to the uh, organization settings and into the organization settings go to the project and just create new project say for example i'm just simply saying spring boot 009 and select as a private private or pub <coughs> public repository whatever you want so i'm just creating private so a project has been created so now click on the project and click on um, repo we will find some sort of a credential how to connect or how to uh, using git we can com commit all the code into this repo okay so now go to the step create a spring boot application so we will start we will go to the start of spring boot io and here we can give the name uh, spring boot 00 nine okay so we will create one dependency that is a web dependency because we are just creating a simple web application with one endpoint and one single controller so let's add web dependency and uh, select jdk 1.8 uh, we will also uh, see how we can create using the jdk 1.11 because as of now as your default jdk is uh, 8 if you are trying to go with 11 you may get some exception at the time of if we if you are going with a default uh, pipeline but if you will uh, we'll see that how can change <coughs> let's uh, generate the project okay so let's go to the footer clear the other files and uh, extract the file over here okay so now import it into the uh, ID uh, any ID you can use IntelliJ or Eclipse or Spring HTS. I am using the Spring HTS. So I am just importing Maven project. So it's done. Now go to the terminal. Okay, so I will just check whether my application is running or not. So, first of all, uh, we need to also create. Uh, the simple controller so let's create a controller class app controller and just annotate it with rest controller let's create one simple chat mapping method display the message say hello hello from azure devops let's make a default endpoint that is so let's just test it out this application or you can directly use the command from So let let's run. So let's check in the local host eighty eighty. Hello from the Azure DevOps. 
so let's stop it now let's initialize with the git repository because we want to commit our code into the azure repo the git init now we will go to the azure repo and uh, we'll find out what is the url uh, to add our file to the repo so this select just this portion the first portion and uh, so now our repository is pointing to spring boot 009 so first of all let's add all the file git add all git commit this is just a simple commit process first commit git push will get one url we can just use copy and paste over here so all the files should be in the azure repo let's check it let's click on the azure repo now we can see that all the files are now in the azure repo so we will create two pipelines that is one is a build pipeline and another is a release pipeline so let's start with the build pipeline so click on the pipeline create new pipeline just <coughs> use the classic editor and just go with the default empty job and uh, click on the plus sign and uh, select maven from it so maven should be here okay so it is there Okay, so uh, let's again create the pipeline. I was facing some issues. Uh, create the pipeline. Use the classic editor. Just select here and select the Maven. Now we can uh, just save it. It's simple. Now click on Save and Queue so that our uh, build pipeline will automatically start it. So this may take some time. Uh, initially, uh, for the default application, it may take three or four minutes. So let's let's wait for three or four minutes, and I will pause this video. Let's wait for some more time. I guess it is about to finish. Okay, so it's been finished. Now click on release. Or uh, before we are creating the release pipeline, let's create an app service. So go to the Azure uh, cloud and find out the where is the app services. So you can just uh, either you can search search bar, see, find out the app service, and then create. Uh, click on the new and uh, you can use your existing resource group. Create a super example. Just provide the name. Spring Boot 009. I hope it is. It should be the unique one. So yeah, it is unique. Uh, go with the default and in the runtime stack, just use the Java 8 because we have created our Spring Boot as uh, Java 8. Let's make sure that it is Java 8. The pom.xml. Yeah, it is 8. Okay, so 8 and uh, just go with the default that is java embedded server select linux for now the review and click on review and create click on the create and it may take some time let's wait for some more time ok so go to the resource and our app service is Currently, there just click on this URL, you will not find anything because we are not yet uh, deployed. In. So, now go back to uh, Azure repo and now in the pipeline, just select the release and click on the new pipeline. So, create a empty job, 
go to the add artifacts or we should remember that in the build pipeline we have already created the artifacts and it has been uploaded so now we just need to select the build pipeline and just add it check in save it now click on this uh, one job zero task click on this plus sign in the search bar just find out azure web app select it and uh, your select your subscription so and authorize it first of all so that we can find out uh, uh, the web uh, web app on linux select uh, either of wherever your app service is running so we are selecting the web app on linux and here we are able to see the spring boot 009 the application we have already created using the app services so app name is 009 and here package or folder just click here on a side three dots uh, in the artifact just go to the jar target this jar file the runtime stack just uh, Select the Java 8 because we have selected the Java 8 and uh, save. Now create the release. Just create it. Now we can go to the release. Here the release release one has been created. Now click on the release release one and just click on the deploy. So. It has been queued and pretty soon it will start. Okay, so the job has been started. So this may also take uh, some time. Okay, so <coughs> release has been completed. So let's check whether our application is uh, running or not. Okay, that's great. We can see that it's very simple. So there are more configuration we can do, and we will see some of the more configuration in the coming videos. So, till the time, thank you, and thanks for watching.